I've been interested in art for about three years now. I do kind of like digital illustration type of art, uh, more like fantasy, kind of sci-fi, more like. When I was eight, I was attacked by two pit bulls on the Chicago South Side. And uh, it caused tremendous damage to my face and I had to go through over 58 reconstructive surgeries just to actually get somewhat normal is what I should say. The picture that is in the art exhibition that will be tomorrow, it's about me recreating myself in Photoshop. It's basically the dream version of myself that I wish I, the wish of the way I wish I looked like, even though I know it's not possible. Recently, I was going through a lot of emotional, emotional distress with my problems, and I wanted to use my art to get away from my, get away from my feelings. So I use this piece in particularly to actually get away from how I see myself versus how do I want to see myself. And I actually got a chance to let go of what I want to see versus what is here. I want to pursue a BFA in digital illustration or graphic design. I'm really having a mix between the two. Independently, I was like, really obsessed with like going to the Art Institute and MCA and looking at different work and I was like why don't I just try? I signed up for an art class at SAIC for their like commuter programs and then from there I just kind of like continued to develop and searched for outlets to like continue to work because I feel like I had a lot of catching up to do. I'm mostly into drawing. Um, I love working figuratively. I honestly get mostly inspired by like what I learned in school. So like last year I was in world history and I was just going from like civilization to civilization with like a specific like interest. The piece that I submitted for the exhibition was a piece I completed last year. It was a self portrait I did and and so it came out being like a really strong piece and it was like the first thing I'd done that I was like truly or truly proud of. So I'm like really honored to have it in the exhibition. But it also just shows that I've like kind of grown in like my art progress and I'm really happy with that. To me the most enjoyable part about being an artist is the fact that whatever I can imagine I can potentially like interpret into a piece of work so it feels almost boundless as a medium and that's why I really love it. Animation and computer science are my what I intend to study in college. I've been interested in art since the first grade. When I was in first grade uh, my teacher she used to, we used to do these uh, journal entries and we either had the choice of to either draw what we read about or, you know, write a summary. And like, I, I always like, I like drawing better. And so like, I would, I would start drawing like pictures from the book and stuff like that. It kind of boosted me to, you know, do it more. And then as the years went by, it, it was just everything I did. When people see it, like, they're gonna also like, you know, feel something. Cause that's why I had trouble with last year. It was, I was just making art, but I never really stopped to think like, what's behind it, you know? Like what's, what's the meaning? And so that's something I've been trying to fix this year with my art life. I plan to keep drawing and painting till the day I die. Uh, it's something that I take with a passion and I just honestly, no matter what job I take or what I do, I'm always gonna find time for it.